So you've installed iReal Pro. Congratulations. Now let's add some songs. You can click this um, sphere at the top to go to the forms. I already have it open, so I'm going to go there. Once you've clicked on Jazz, you can choose Jazz 1300 Standards, or you can use the link that's on the Google Classroom page. Once you click it, it's going to make a playlist. I've already added this, but there's nothing here before, so I'm going to delete it. Just take off that one because it's annoying. Now, I want to add some more songs though. I want to add songs from the Real Easy Book. Here we go. And I have an instant playlist already set up, which is really great. And now I want to make a new playlist. I'm going to call this playlist 2015 Christmas. These are going to have all of our Christmas songs. I have links for those as well, but I'm going to just choose it here. So holiday season, I'm going to drag that right here. Christmas time is here, same thing, comfort and joy. Note that these are all the solo sections for these songs. Here they are, and you can arrange the order and put them in any order you want to, whatever you want to do. Um, let's make another playlist for the Jazz Fest tunes. And let's import those now. So we're doing Apple Honey. Then Critical Mass. We're also doing a song that's already in the real book, so now we're going to search for it. Here we go. And this is a fine order. This is great for now. So, when you choose a song, you're going to note a couple of things. Um, it's going to tell you the main key down here. Your tempo, start, stop, how many repeats, the style of song. Here's the mixer, and you can choose what instruments you'd like to do, the count-in, what kind of count-in, and then the chords. I suggest using chord scales. However, if you're a pianist learning these chords and you want some suggestions, or a guitarist wanting some input, then you can choose those options. It's really great because you can cycle through and just click through and see what kind of chords you could use, and you can just practice playing with those. And because there's two chords here, you could look for chords that have common notes in it, like G minor pentatonic also has notes that are shared with B flat blues or the B flat major pentatonic. There's basically almost the same scale. If not the same scale, they are the same scale. Um, there's also this function here for library. So you have a B flat uh, 6. So I can look for that 6 right here. Here we go. So these are all the notes in a B-flat 6, and I can look at all the different notes that work really well with a B-flat 6 this way too. It's kind of like a lookup system. If you want it as the song moves, then you're going to want this. The other thing is that before you even start playing, you're going to want to go to Preferences, and you want to make sure that you have your instrument's transposition selected. Piano, bass, guitar, drums are all going to play in C. B flat instruments, once you click it, notice that everything changes right away. If I choose E flat, it's going to change as well. But I'm in C, so I'm going to leave it there. And then, when you're ready, you can start playing. goes pretty fast. Okay, maybe that's too fast. We can just wind the tempo down here, and we can also mm, increase the amount of repeats that it does. Uh, so this way we can get some time with this piece. And let's maybe assume that this section right here is the toughest section for us. When I click a selection, just like in the iPad app, and I drag, it's going to instantly make a loop marker. And it's going to repeat this section over and over. Check it out. Hmm. 
we go. And it's going to do this forever, which is really great for practicing. You can just keep it going. You can also choose to start from a, a certain section in the song. Maybe you practice this a lot, but now you need to practice the B section. Of course, you could loop the whole section, but let's just start from there and just keep the song going. Also note that if you make any changes to the tempo, it's not going to start right away. If you decide that you want to change it to be a fretless bass, and you want to use roads instead, none of these changes will take place. It's waiting for you to restart. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this.